With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we're going to see this question. The question says that vector Q has a magnitude of 8 and uh, is added to vector P and lies along the x axis. The resultant of these two vectors is the third vector R which lies along the y axis. It has a magnitude of P. Basically twice of P and the magnitude of P is what? So basically we have to find the magnitude of P. So now what we'll do, we'll draw the axis firstly. Okay. And I'll explain you what is happening over here. There is a vector P, okay, which is along the x-axis means it's along this direction, okay. And there is another vector, okay. So this is along the x-axis, so let me draw it properly, okay. So basically, this is the P vector, okay. And lastly, there is also a Q vector, but we don't know where it is. And there is a R vector, which is in the y y axis direction and it is double the magnitude of P, okay. So basically the r vector will be in this direction okay this direction and it is double the magnitude of p means this is 2p and this is p if you see properly we when you do vector addition then what you do is that let's suppose this is one vector this is another vector we join from tail head okay and the last what we do the first tail and the second head is the resultant vector that means what over here from this head the q's vector tail will start and it will join up till this head that means what this is basically q vector okay and this is the magnitude is given as 8 okay now what we'll do you can clearly see this is 90 degrees so we can use the pythagoras theorem over here that is q square this is just magnitude of q is equal to under root of this is what this is given 2p okay twice magnitude it is given so 2p square plus p square okay so over here this under root will not come because we have written q square over there so this will be 64 will be equal to 4p square plus p square okay now what we'll have we will have the value that is p square must be equal to 64 upon 5 okay and this will come out if you see this will be p will be equal to 64 by 5 under root okay so now what we'll have we will have the value that is 8 by root 5 or you can also say 8 by 5 root 5 okay so our answer will be what the magnitude of p vector will be equal to 8 by root 5 understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today